Hi, my name is Gleb from Soft Data Solutions, and I'm going to introduce to you the IGEOTRACK mobile application. The app is available for free on both the App Store and Google Play. Once you download the app, you will see it on your home screen. Go ahead and tap on it. On the screen, your first step is to enter your username and password, as well as the server we have provided you with. By default, the server is gps.igotrack.com. When you have done this and entered all the details, go ahead and press login. Now that you've logged in, you will find yourself on the main screen, where you have several different buttons. The bottom toolbar itself has two different options. By default, the app is set on the map screen, but by clicking the second icon, we are taken to your user profile, which we will talk about a little later. Next, we move on to the buttons in the bottom middle right side of the main screen. The bottom of the three buttons shows the icon of a traffic light and in turn allows you to see a live flow of traffic, including color coding, going from green, indicating light traffic, to red, indicating heavy traffic. This is extremely useful for situations where you need to arrive at a location by a designated time. The second icon we have is the POI or point of interest button, which allows you to mark certain locations on the map and receive notifications when the drivers enter and or exit the location. This is also known as GeoZoner. The last of the three buttons allows you to pinpoint your exact location on the map. This is extremely useful for when you want to freely look around the map, but want to go back to your location in one tap. The next feature we have is called the Call Head Office feature. It is located on the top right corner. This feature works by allowing you to call a designated contact by definition, this contact is usually the person in charge of your vehicle fleet. Note, this feature will not work unless you manually assign a contact to it. In the top middle of your screen, you'll notice is a quick search input field, which allows you to quickly pinpoint a desired driver by searching his or her name, plate number, or vehicle model. In the top left corner, we can see the driver list button. By tapping this, you will automatically see the drivers assigned to your company. These drivers are split into four categories, active, stopped, idling, and in rule violation. By selecting one or more than one driver, we are able to see the driver's location or locations. These drivers will be shown in three different color-coded categories on the map. The first being the drivers with the black circle, indicating that this particular vehicle engine is off. The second category is a blue circle, indicating that the designated driver is on the move and his engine is on. The third and final red category indicates that the vehicle's engine is on and it is on the move, however the driver is violating some sort of road or assigned rules. Tapping on the designated driver circle will give you some minor driver details. Tapping on this again, however, will take you straight to the driver's personal profile. In the top corner of this page, you will see two icons used to call or SMS the driver at will. This page will also show you several other features, such as the driver's current speed, number of violations, and for advanced users, fuel tank level and driver efficiency. Some other advanced features on this page include cargo temperature, which is generally used by medical or foodstuff organizations, vehicle weight, panic button, door sensor, immobilizer, and remote air conditioning are also included in the pro version. Below, we can see the driver's current route size, time on route, average speed, along with specific start points, and current location of the driver from engine start to engine stop. By pushing this bottom area, we can see the exact driver trip on the map, which includes several clock points, including driver speed at that point, what time he was there, and if he made any violations. In the top right corner is the history button. This tab contains three different categories, representing three different time periods. A day, three days, and a week. Each category displays all trips in that given time period. As we saw before, we are able to view a certain trip on the map by tapping on it. The details of which include the features I mentioned earlier. In the top right, we have an S-shaped trip summary feature, which shows all the trips within the given time period on the map. Next, we move on to the settings and the company profile menu we saw at the start of the video. 
The first thing we notice is the personal details, which can all be changed at will. Next, we see the map options, which include the normal, satellite, hybrid, and terrain views. What we can also see is the designated driver tab, which lets you choose the, which driver details you want to see and which ones you don't. The last thing I want to talk about are the push notification settings, which simply allow you to select which features trigger push or SMS alerts on your phone. These include driver idle time, driver over speeding, and the driver entering or leaving a point of interest that you've set. Thank you for listening to the iGeoTrack mobile application tutorial. Enjoy saving precious time, energy, and money by using our next level GPS tracking software. If you have any questions in regard to the software, feel free to contact our support staff at 055 7739 693.